We're here back at the Medicine Ball Caravan here in Cypress Lake Studios. So proud to finally get this group in here. We've been playing them for a while out of Austin, Texas. Imagine, if you will, a baby that was born that had a father with traditional jazz, a mother of, uh, of, of uh, Afro-funk, Afro and a parrain of New Orleans, New Orleans funk. What you get is out of Houston, Texas. Will you welcome Casa You? Thank you. 
Kaza Yu here on the Medicine Ball Caravan. Wow. Uh, if, you, if you've been uh, listening to the show, you've been hearing us uh, play music by Kaza Yu. And, you know, you, you might be kind of thinking, like, that sounds kind of backyard. And the reason is because it is. The drummer here, <laughs> here is, is uh, last name is Kaza Yu. Uh, Forrest Kazayu. Right. Forrest Kazayu, the drummer of, of, of the group. Now, uh, t tell us, uh, you, we've got a connection here to UL. I understand that you mm -hmm. once attended school here. That's right. Uh, when did that happen? That happened, uh, see, I, I graduated here in 2015, I believe. 2015. Yes, sir. Now, were you involved in music here on the university before? Or? Uh, I wasn't involved in any music programs, but uh, definitely involved in the scene around town. I wish I was involved in a music program, but uh, at that time, I didn't really have any idea that I would be sort of taking the musical path, but still playing. And, uh, but yeah, Lafayette definitely had a major influence on uh, steering me to uh, pursuing the music, for sure. Well, uh, it, it, it certainly worked. Now, what, uh, what uh, drove you to towards Austin? Were you playing music before you headed to Austin? Now, now, uh, so, so, so what's, what's the story? What what what, uh, what, what got you to Austin? So um, I began originally, I guess, playing out uh, in Lafayette um, with some guys that are, were also some UL alumni. One guy, I'll say his name, Adam Bursajay. Right, I wonder. We were in that. a band mm -hmm. back in the day called Swamp Brew, ah, and okay. um, you know he. He just really loved Austin, and I also love Austin, and you know also love Lafayette. But uh, as you say, he was hell bent on moving to Austin, and he was uh, you know one of my best friends. And I was like, well, I guess that'd be a good idea. I sort of kind of took a risk and said, all right, let's see what Austin has to offer, and uh, just kind of took off. That was in uh, 2018. Well, Forrest, well, so uh, how did you hook up with these guys? Now, we've got, we've got uh, an eight-piece group here, which is a rare for, for this studio, and everybody's just, just top-notch. Uh, what was the, uh, the evolution of, of this group coming together? How did that happen? Well, um, I've met all these guys, I guess, along the way. I mean, um, I will say another thing that incubated a lot of us meeting was a place in town called Sahara Lounge. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, that's a place that we all play, and they have a great stage, and they play Afrobeat and jazz and funk. Was this downtown Austin, or this is East East Austin, okay. East downtown? All right. And um, so, I'd say uh, Fernando and Fumi, I met at Sahara Lounge, just playing in sort of that environment. Um, Freeman, at Mr. Freeman here, we met kind of early on when I was in town. Also, Damien and John and Todd, I mean, we kind of all just bumped into each other along the way and, you know, kind of like minds collide, I guess, you know, and right. sort of follow that same path. You well, know? somehow it, it, it manages to, to work splendidly, and with the leader being the drummer, I'm just wondering how do the musical arrangements come about? Do you, from what I understand, talking to you earlier, you guys pretty much work it out. It's, it sounds almost like a company, oh, <laughs> the, the, way, yeah. the, the way you guys uh, uh, kind of produce a song. Yes. Tell us a little bit how that works. Uh, I guess you could call me the band leader, but uh, definitely not the sole writer. It's all co-written by pretty much everyone here. Certainly. Um, you know, the project itself birthed in the studio uh, just by improvising and kind of coming up with some stuff. And then we came up with that stuff and kind of looked at it and said, oh, well, we could take this out and put this in and put that out and change this and change that. And, uh, and I was like, man, who can I call to put some horn lines in there? And mm -hmm. then uh, that's where I called my buddy John Slavin, the trumpeter. He's, you know, main arranger of the horn lines. And, uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty much co-written by everybody here. Okay, well, let me let you introduce everyone in the band right okay. here. Okay, we got Mr. Alex Freeman on the bass, Damian Valenzuela on alto sax, mm -hmm. John Slavin on the trumpet, Todd Rogers on trombone, Fernando Flores playing the congas and the percussion, Ben Fisher on the keys, and Fumi Sugawara on guitar. All right, and Forrest Kazayu drums. <laughs> yeah. You got another couple of songs that you can uh, keep uh, amazing us with here? Sure, we, we got a couple. What was the name of the, the, the one we just heard? Uh, that one was a, a new song that uh, we will have on an upcoming album this spring, 
2023. It's called No Comment. Okay. It's kind of like a nod to Fela, and, you know, he's got no no consideration, so no comment, you know. Right. That's where it came from. I, I get that. Uh, and uh, it's been about a year since the uh, since the last record's come out. What was, it, what was that titled? Rendezvous. Okay. Yes, sir. So uh, sit back, everyone. We're going to listen to a couple of numbers by Kazeyu here live from, uh, well, that's actually, this is pre-recorded. <laughs> actually, you guys are playing tonight at the Freetown Boom Boom Room, right? We're, we're here. We're here on a Saturday afternoon. And this is Kazayu here on the Medicine Ball Caravan. All right, it's uh, about to drink. We're good. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
Kaza you here on the Medicine Ball Caravan. Outstanding, guys. Thanks for taking us on a ride and hope to see you back again here soon. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much for having us.